Jamie, one of the biggest headliners for day in, day out, had to cancel because he tested positive for COVID and was vaccinated. Program directors say it won't require guests to wear their mask, even though health officials are strongly encouraging people, vaccination status, regardless of vaccination status, to wear their mask at gatherings. Program directors say security will be requiring proof of vaccination cards or a negative test to see the show. As COVID-19 case numbers surge in Washington, the show must go on for the day in, day out music festival. Music is life for us and, and it's, such a, it's such a luxury, it's such a pleasure thing that we can do, but the, the number one priority is always health. And we wouldn't be going through with the event if we feel that it was unsafe to do so. Crews set up for the weekend event that could see as many as 4,000 fans in Seattle's Fisher Pavilion. They're moving forward just one day after Public Health Seattle and King County issued a new outdoor mask mandate for any event with 500 people or more starting September 7th. Program director Evan Johnson says though they have always encouraged face coverings, they won't be requiring them. It's just not feasible for us to mandate it at this point. We would have to hire so many more security guards and all these things. It's, it's a tough thing to do for an event of this size. As part of their COVID safety measures, hand sanitizing stations are posted throughout the space and they're limiting guests to 50% capacity to help maintain social distance. All attendees, artists, crew members, everyone that's a part of the festival is going to be required to show either proof of vaccination or negative test results within 48 hours. The health department says it doesn't discourage attending the festival, but is urging people to keep their mask on since there will be lots of singing and shouting. Johnson says this stage is meant to offer a good, safe show for all guests. I also hope that people are able to leave this experience feeling some, some you know, renewed sense of, of life and renewed sense of excitement about live music being back and being able to go out in Seattle in the summertime and have a good time with your friends because I think that that's something we, we, that we have been deprived of for a year and a half now. Guests will go through one checkpoint to confirm their proof of vaccination or that negative COVID test. Anyone who doesn't have those required items will be turned away. They'll then go through a second checkpoint so security can check their bags before they get to see that stage. Reporting live in Seattle, Frankie Thompson, Q13 News.